Why isn't he here yet? Never mind. We can start by making your entrance first. Everyone, listen up! Your attention, please! We've reached the climax of the Crux Clash! This is the final match! We've seen many exciting battles today, and now, at long last, the two finalists have emerged. Now, I'd like to introduce our first combatant. Though few have seen her, her reputation knows no bounds. She strikes fear into the heart of Osail, and the mere mention of her name causes even Fatui Harbingers to turn pale in the face. Introducing Liyue's Traveling Hero! Wow! Oh, I've been waiting for this moment! I'm sure everyone witnessed her thrilling match in the semifinals. But today's final round will surely take things up a notch. As for our other combatant... Uh, he still hasn't arrived. Oh, come on, what could be taking him so long? You can't just forfeit for not showing up like in previous rounds. <laughs> this is the finals. Apologies, everyone just sit tight. We've got no other choice. If he doesn't show up, we'll just have to postpone the match. Wait a moment. Something doesn't seem right about this. Captain Beto, perhaps we should check on the prize. Traveler, come with us. Let me see. That's gone, all right. The vision is missing. Huh? Did somebody steal it? Who would dare do such a thing in broad daylight? We don't know when it was taken, exactly. Huh. <laughs> I never thought that someone here would have the guts to cross Captain Beto. No need to worry. Even the craftiest sleight of hand does not escape nature's watchful gaze. Hmm... The culprit has only acted recently. They will not have gotten far. The vision was the prize that I had offered, and it was my responsibility to look after it. I will be certain to get it back. Well, if you insist. I'll leave the matter to you, then. I'll stay here and try to offer some explanation to all the spectators that came to see the match. If you would, please come with me. Um, but we're on an island! Where could he have possibly run to? Come with me. I can sense the winds are coming. <sighs> it's my fault that the vision is missing. I should have kept a closer eye on it. Though Captain Beto says she doesn't blame me, I can't help but feel guilty inside. Word is, the prize has been stolen, and that the final match has been postponed. I can't believe it! Who would dare steal from the Crux fleet? I'll stay behind and explain the situation here. Just get the vision back. The spectators were all geared up to see an exciting match. I can't let them return disappointed. The vision was stolen? And in broad daylight, too. How could that possibly happen? I was really looking forward to the final match. <sighs> huh? A wind current? The winds have come at an opportune moment. Let's seize this chance. Ride the winds upward. From there, we can continue our search for clues. It was stolen. Well, then why didn't you stop him? You'll see shortly. The 
winds are guiding us forward. The culprit is on the opposite shore now. You can hear that too? What does it sound like? <laughs> Hubris. This way. Follow me. There may be an ambush waiting for us up ahead, but I trust that you are well prepared for such a scenario. Hoarders, they're here! Get them! Treasure hoarders, just as I expected. In which case, please stand back. You caught up with me? How is that possible? I had even prepared a boat to ensure a quick getaway, and still you caught up to me! No boat could ever match the speed of the wind. The wind? What are you talking about? Oh, I get it. Your vision. Drat! If I only had a vision! Or, if I could activate this one, then you'd never be able to catch me! This has nothing to do with visions. You may be skilled at vanishing from a crowd, but it seems you know precious little about how to conceal yourself from nature's gaze. Additionally, your chosen escape route was flawed for reasons that are too numerous to go into, and on top of that, I could hear your boasting and proud laughter in the wind as I was pursuing you. In other words, you failed to meet any of the basic criteria for a grand heist, namely speed, stealth, and style. You... You! But most disappointing of all is the state of the vision in your hand. It appears that the vision doesn't respond to human desire indiscriminately. Fine! Fine! I admit it. I've had my eyes on this vision for quite some time now. I decided to register after hearing that this fighting contest was full of a bunch of lousy fighters. I fought my way to the finals and... Aha! So you were supposed to be our opponent! I'd intended to win the contest your skill alone all along, but then you showed up. After watching the semi-finals, I knew that I didn't stand a chance. But I wasn't about to give up on the vision so easily after coming all this way. Since there was no use in trying to face you in the match, I decided to put my skills to good use while everyone's attention was on you and Beto. I was convinced I prepared thoroughly for my escape, but somehow you still managed to catch up to me. Drat. This could... This should have gone differently. <laughs> I know an empty threat when I hear one. Fine. But you'd better mean it. It didn't activate once I took it anyway. It's nothing but a useless shell to me. You know, according to the laws of the sea, the penalty for stealing is breaking the culprit's arms. Huh? You're not serious, are you? Not to mention that the item you stole was a prize. You didn't show up for the final match, and you damaged the reputation of the captain of the Crux fleet. It seems that it would be only fair to brand the word thief on your forehead with a hot iron. Whoa, whoa! We don't need to go that far, do we? <sighs> I never would have guessed you could be so cruel. If this is where talking gets me, then forget it! I'll risk a fight! No, my sword! No! No! Do what you want, but please! Don't brand my forehead, please! He has persevered to the bitter end, and now death looms near. Yet still, the gods do not bestow their favor upon him. Put down the vision and leave. I've changed my mind. 
No further punishment for you. Uh huh? What's wrong? Are you asking for more punishment? It's up to you. Such willingness is commendable, and fits the way of the samurai. No, no, no need for that. Thank you for releasing me. You truly are generous. Huh? Paimon doesn't get it! Were you just trying to scare him? I take no pleasure in frightening others. I was just testing all possibilities while the vision remained in his hands. When people are forced into a corner, that is when their greatest strength will appear. I thought it may be an opportunity for him to awaken the vision. But unfortunately, nothing happened. Yes. I wanted to know whether it were possible for an extinguished vision to be reawakened. From the moment he stole the vision, I decided to use him for this experiment. I've tried many other methods in the past, though few tales tell of a masterless vision reawakening. After seeing you command multiple elements, I figured that nothing is impossible. Come, why don't you give it a try? Let's see if you can give me the answer I'm hoping for. Huh. <sighs> the vision didn't seem to respond at all. I see. So you are also unable to rekindle the vision. No matter. This was expected. I suppose this vision is still mine to take for now. Yeah, what's the story behind this vision anyway? The story begins with an old friend. He was once a good friend of mine. One day he asked me about a sword art of which he had heard, the Musono Hitotachi. I told him it can only be witnessed when divine punishment is administered. It is the pinnacle of the Raiden Shogun's skill, a symbol of ultimate power. But he replied, there must be one who can withstand it. There will always be those who dare to brave the lightning's glow. Then, the Vision Hunt Decree arrived. People's aspirations were stripped away as the Raiden Shogun began to construct her ideal of eternity. While I was fleeing from place to place, I heard that my friend had challenged the Vision Hunters to a duel before the throne. A solemn yet brutal challenge. The defeated faced divine punishment while the victors gain a second chance. Perhaps he thought he of all people should make a stand. Coming face to face with the Musono Hitotachi was all that he truly desired after all. When I arrived at Tenchukaku, the duel was over. I heard his sentence of divine punishment, his severed blade hitting the ground. Perhaps that was the glory he had yearned to witness. In his last moments, what expression was on his face? Before I knew it, I had stepped forward and snatched the dying vision and was running from the scene. All I knew was that I mustn't let his hope, which burned so brightly, become buried among the ice-cold statue of a god. Perhaps one day, I may come to find that all I have done is meaningless. But as a wandering samurai, I find meaning in traveling and the sprawling beauty of nature that lies along the way, while still retaining the warrior way in my heart. Kazuha! <laughs> it's just another way of saying I do as I please. All right then, it's time we returned. Allow me to gather the wind for us once more. Already? Maybe she went back to her ship! If you're looking for the captain, she was summoned by Lady Ningguang. It seems that the Crux Clash got out of hand this time and has attracted her attention. Captain Beto was muttering something about Ningguang being a stick in the mud as she headed off to Liyue Harbor. <laughs> it's not unusual for those two to be at odds with one another. But still, Captain Beto was disappointed she didn't get to witness the crowning of the new champion. She had been looking forward to it for quite some time. 
The one who stole the vision was originally to be this hero's opponent in the final round. He knew he stood no chance of winning the match, thus the wicked idea of stealing the prize took hold in his mind. In which case, the crux clash comes to a clear-cut conclusion. Huh? So that's what happened? If that's the case, then the rules stipulate that he is disqualified, and our hero here is the champion. Paimon thought we'd win and all, but not like this. It doesn't matter. As the saying goes, honor given is honor deserved. Now, let me go prepare the champion's medal to award you. Yes, I believe so. Though Captain Beto is no longer present here, I'll be sure she receives word of it. She is a woman of her word. But the voyage to Inazuma is a treacherous one. You will be plagued by a perpetual tempest the entire trip. In fact, the relentless rain and wind are also an embodiment of the Raiden Shogun's will to close the nation. Hold on a second. You're saying she can change the weather just with the power of her mind? Let us not forget that this is one of the Seven Archons. If Liyue's Morax could form Guyun's Stone Forest by casting down his stone spears, then it should come as no great surprise that the Raiden Shogun is capable of summoning an eternal tempest. Suffice it to say that if you wish to journey to Inazuma, the Alcor will need some time. You will be notified once all the preparations have been made. In the meantime, I intend to embark on a journey of my own. I will travel all across the vast lands of Liyue in the hope of finding a way to reawaken the vision. Paimon believes you'll find a way for sure. Thank you. May both our journeys prove meaningful. One final word of warning. The part of your journey that lies after the storm may well prove to be the most arduous.